Welcome to the latest episode of Z Code System here on YouTube. Drew talking to you, and today we're going to talk about the English Premier League, which gets back on track tomorrow, which is Saturday, October the 1st. And it's going to be a big weekend of English Premier League soccer as we have games coming up on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, a big weekend. And what makes it even bigger is the fact that we're coming off of an, a two-week international break. And before that, we had the unfortunate death of the Queen of England, which uh, made uh, a couple of the weekends of action postponed. So we've had almost a month for some teams off, but now we are getting back to uh, getting back to basics, getting back to action as the Premier League starts back up this weekend. And today on here on our YouTube channel, we're going to be talking about a couple of the games that are coming up tomorrow and on Sunday. We're going to be talking about two specific games, the Derbys, the North London Derby between Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur, as well as the Manchester Derby between Manchester United and Manchester City, two massive games which will have direct impacts on the Premier League title race as all four of those teams are in the current top seven of the English Premier League. So as you can see there, we have the Z Code System blog, and you can go over there to read up on everything that we have. Um, we've got some picks for Sunday's Major League Baseball games, the Mets and the Braves. That's a huge game in Major League Baseball. If you are a Major League Baseball better or a Major League Baseball fan, just go over there and check that out. And also, we've got some picks for this coming weekend in the NFL, Chiefs and Bucks. And then we have also have our NBA preview coming up, the NBA tipping off later in October. So go over there and check all of those articles out that we have. And if you're here on YouTube, then be sure to check out all the other videos that we've posted. We've got some great video picks uh, on these different games going on this weekend, and you can check out those here on the YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get everything up to date whenever we post here on the Z Code System channel. All right, so we're talking about the English Premier League specifically. So we're going to focus our attention over on those two matches, like I've said previously. Before we do that, I just want to have a look at the current betting odds in the Premier League. So, of course, we will use Bet365 for this because that is my favorite sports book. You may have your own favorite sports book. So by all means, you know, check that out. Use your own sports book. But for intents and purposes here. I'm going to be using Bet365 because that is my favorite. And before we get going here, I'm going to need to change the odds. I usually prefer fractional odds, but for here in our video, I'm going to be using American odds. Uh, so I'm just going to change that up there. As you can see there, we've got American odds. Easy to do right there. And uh, we click on our soccer section here. And Bet365 has such a great selection of markets for all the different soccer going on around the world, and those are some of the games coming up tonight. Uh, and one of the great things that if you like pre-set, uh, pre-built uh, accumulators or bet builders, then definitely check out uh, Bet365 because they have these right there. You can see those bet boosts that they have. Uh, and if those three uh, selections in that bet builder happen to come through, then by all means, you will be winning that bet. Um, some very uh, interesting bets that they do. So explore that if you've if you've never used Bet365 or if you have and and you want to get some uh, some interesting pre bets built pre built bets I should say. Uh, and if you've never used the soccer bet builder uh, feature on Bet365, a lot of the online sports books now have a bet builder option feature. Uh, a lot of European uh, bookies. I'm not really sure if the the American ones do so much. Uh, I haven't seen. Um, them on on a few of the American websites I've looked at recently, but um, these bet builders are really great. Uh, bet three six five, for example, you can make a bet builder uh, with different markets for the same game, uh, and basically build an accumulator for the same game. Because before you would have to build an accumulator featuring markets from different games. So you can use the bet builder for soccer. You can use it for NFL games. You can use it for tennis. You can use it for a lot of different things on bet three six five. So. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I've been using it uh, once in a while for for a nice little cheeky bet on the old football. But uh, anyway, let's look at uh, some outright bet markets real quickly on the Premier League. And as you can see here, we've got a lot of different outright bet markets uh, available for the Premier League. And if you haven't yet uh, put a bet down, uh, a futures bet, an outright bet, then by all means have a have a thought about that, have a consider that, and you know you can see how the league is kind of playing out now, so you can make some decisions on how to make a, a, a smart bet um, on an outright bet. And so I just wanted to pick out the 
to win outright bet uh, here. And we've got Manchester City, who are the favorites right now, according to the book. He's at minus 300. Liverpool somehow still plus 700, even though they're nine points back right now of Arsenal, who are in first place. And you can see their Arsenal is plus 1,000. Tottenham Hotspur, who are uh, joint second with Man City right now, they are plus 1,400. And Man United, who have impressed a lot of people, they are plus 3,300. And that goes all the way down to the um, 20th team in the Premier League, uh, Bournemouth with the longest odds. And I can tell you right now that Bournemouth are not going to win the Premier League, so save your money on that one. All right, guys, let's take a look at these two games that uh, I was talking about earlier, the North London Derby featuring Arsenal and Tottenham, as well as the Manchester Derby featuring Manchester City and Manchester United. Okay, so I'm using the Soccer Buddy tool, which is a favorite tool of ours at the Z Code System website. And this is a great tool to use to help you make educated bets on your English Premier League soccer betting, as well as, and I'll scroll back up real quickly, any of the other leagues that you fancy betting on. We've got so many leagues here thrown into the Soccer Buddy tool and all of these different data points put together that make these predictions and picks for you. Uh, you can see we've got uh, games from the Burundi Primus League to the Canadian Premier League, all the way to the Czech Division too. So there's so much soccer here on the Soccer Buddy app. Uh, I encourage you to check it out and to, to give it a go, to, to use it to help you make educated picks. And as you can see here, I'm giving you every game for Saturday, tomorrow, October the 1st. Uh, in particular, though, we're going to be just talking about this Tottenham Arsenal game, which is going to be taking place at the Emirates Stadium. Now, as you can see there, the Soccer Buddy tool has given us a 1-0 scoreline going into this game. Uh, last season, Arsenal won the match at uh, excuse me, at the Emirates Stadium 3-1. Tottenham returned the favor at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium 3-0 later in the season. Now, Tottenham are going to the Emirates. They're going to Arsenal to play this game, and Tottenham do not play well there. This is where their dreams go to die. Tottenham are, uh, well, they've only won twice at the Emirates Stadium since the 2010-2011 season. So let me repeat that. Tottenham Hotspur have only won twice at the Emirates Stadium since 2010-2011. I believe that's around 29 games uh, that the teams, two teams have played at the Emirates Stadium in all competitions, with Tottenham winning just two. So they do not play well at Arsenal. Uh, and even though I continue to say uh, that Arsenal have had a very easy schedule to start the season, I still think that Arsenal can pull out a win in this game. Uh, you know, my heart is with Tottenham here to win this game, but my head says Arsenal are going to pick up a win in this game. And I think it's going to be a very low scoring game. I would go under 3.5 goals. Uh, give yourself a little bit of insurance there in case uh, a couple of goals go in there, maybe three goals go in there. But uh, I would I would go under 3.5 goals in this game with Arsenal winning. And the thing is, like I said before, Tottenham do not play well at Arsenal Stadium. Uh, but consider that Arsenal have, have uh, had that easy schedule that I talked about earlier. Their biggest test of the season so far this year uh, was against Manchester United. They lost 3-1 away at Old Trafford. And it was a game where things could have gone either way, but United ended up uh, getting a goal in the second half and then uh, another, and they went on to win uh, that game. Uh, and, and unfortunately for Arsenal fans, they failed in that big test. I don't think they're going to fail in this big test necessarily because, again, they're going to be playing at home with a massive uh, ruckus crowd behind them. This is something that Arsenal fans have been waiting for for a very long time, 10 years really, uh, for the team to be uh, near the top of the table again and uh, having such an important game in October uh, that could dictate the title later on this season. So I'm banking on Arsenal to pick up a win here. I think it's going to be a game where we're going to see under 3.5 goals. And uh, for Tottenham, I think it's going to be one of those games where uh, they come out, maybe play, play decently to start with, and then kind of fade uh, as the game goes, Arsenal should keep a lot of possession. Spurs will look to hit it on the counter-attack. Uh, but I think Arsenal will be up for this game. And in the end, they'll pick up a victory. All right, so let's look at the uh, the second game here for our video. And that is going to be the next day on the second. And it's going to be a game between Manchester City and Manchester United at the Etihad Stadium. Manchester United uh, go to the Etihad Stadium in great form, winners of their last four games. Uh, they have actually had a month off of Premier League action due to the Queen's death and then the international break that we have just uh, we've just had here in Europe. And so they go into this game winners of their last four, but having had that big window of, uh, of games uh, off. Uh, City going to this game uh, winners 
uh, excuse me, unbeaten in seven games this season. Uh, they have drawn a couple of games this year, um, unable to kind of find that cutting edge in the final third uh, in those two matches, uh, games against uh, Aston Villa. Uh, most recently, they drew uh, 1-1. And so City go into this game really... Uh, Really firing on all cylinders. Uh, Manchester United, though, are improving under new manager Eric Ten Hag and uh, will fancy winning this game. Unfortunately for United, though, uh, they do have a couple of key injuries going into this game. Uh, most notably, Marcus Rashford is suffering from a bit of an injury. Uh, it's uh, at the time of this recording, not sure if he will be actually playing in this game. City, no new injuries that I'm aware of going in this game. And they do have the world's best striker in Erling Holland. Uh, going into this game, Holland with 11 goals already this season. 11 goals in seven Premier League games. Uh, I believe that's 48% of Manchester City scoring. He has tallied. He scored in each of his last five games. And I think it would be foolish if you didn't wager on Erling Holland to score any time in this game because he is the player that Manchester City bought to score in big games. And I think he's going to come up with a goal or two to uh, this weekend against Manchester United. I think United's defense is going to really struggle with him because he is a monster uh, in the final third. And I think he's going to get a goal for Manchester City in this game. Um, United, while they have been playing well, uh, you know, other than that Arsenal victory, I think they've had maybe slightly a, an easier time of things. Uh, I mean, it can't be ignored that Eric Ten Hag, their manager, has made necessary changes to uh, bring players into the team and to well, remove underperforming players. So he's definitely made um, the adjustments needed. But Manchester United really, for me, is always one loss away from a bit of a crisis. And I think right now that they're going to lose to Manchester City on um, on the weekend. Now, keep in mind that in the last six games, the matches between Manchester United and Manchester City have been decided by three goals or less. And one of the common score lines we have seen actually is 2-0 uh, in the last couple of games. Uh, this season, uh, the most common score line in the Premier League has been 2-1 to the home side. So we've got a 2-1 uh, victory here from the Soccer Buddy app for Manchester City. And I like that. Uh, I like that. I like Manchester City picking up a win in this game. And I like Erling Holling scoring a goal, possibly two goals, to give City the win. All right, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. What, who do you think are, is going to win the North London Derby this weekend and the Manchester City Derby or the Manchester Derby uh, this weekend? And uh, let me know, yeah, in the comments below. I think we're going to see an Arsenal Man City double this weekend. So uh, let me know what you think and uh, if you agree with that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do that now. Hit that thumbs up button, like the video, and stay up to date on everything we do here at Z Code System on YouTube. And if you haven't signed up, the World Cup's coming up. And if you're a soccer better, you're going to want to go over there and get all of the tools that we have at uh, Z Code System so you can stay up to date on everything that happens in the World Cup and make those educated sports bets and investments using the Soccer Buddy app. All right, guys, we'll see you soon here on Z-Code System. Have a great weekend.